convent had the incredible courage to stand up and say in front of all of America, enough, never again. We gather today because students like my daughter Kendra walked up to their principals and school administrators, some for the first time ever, and worked to take a stand to take action on March 14th, just a week and a half ago. And nearly a million students walked out of their classrooms because brave leaders all over the country, like her and like you, stood up. We gather today because one and a half million of our fellow Americans have lost their lives to gun violence in the past 50 years. We lose 30 people on average every single day to this epidemic. We gather today because the adults making the rules have refused to make the changes to our laws that most Americans favor and that will help reduce our epidemic rates of gun violence and encourage gun safety. But now, I am here to tell you that there is a new day dawning in America. A day led by our youth who are rightfully demanding safety from gun violence in their schools, at concerts, at movie theaters, in our towns, in our countryside, and in our great cities. Our founders said that the right to life is one of our self-evident unalienable rights. And today is a day with the right of our lives in mind and led by our young people, the culture is being brought to bear through our nonviolent demonstrations and the exercising of our First Amendment rights. And this pressure put on the people in power is starting to make a difference. Yes. YouTube announced on Thursday that it is tightening its policies on videos selling guns and on those videos showing how to convert guns into automatic firing yeah, right. weapons. Well, it's about time. That's because of you. Vic Sporting Goods and Walmart have announced policies raising the age for gun sales to 21 and taking guns like AR-15s off their shelves for the first time. That's because of you. Now time. The PA state legislator has scheduled house hearings on gun safety bills from April 9th to the 12th next month. Most of these bills have been stalled in committee forever, not seeing the light of day, but now they get a hearing and that's because of you. In our current national budget passed just this week, we finally got permission for the CDC to study gun violence for the first time since the Dickey Amendment of 1996. And we also got a provision for the improved reporting on our national instant criminal background check for gun buyers. And that's because of you. But our work isn't done, not even close. In 1857, the great social reformer and abolitionist Frederick Douglass stated that power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. It is our job to keep making that demand. We must march. We must call. We must continue to organize, and most of all, we must use our most precious right as Americans to affect change, the right to vote. Yes. We must put people into office who will make the changes that need to be made, and we must hold them accountable to fund the CDC research on gun violence and create laws that work to increase gun safety. We cannot stop demanding until all our schools and communities are safe in every community in this great country. Today I join our youth and say, never again, never again, never again. You're very tall. <laughs> we have more people that want to speak. So step up. This lady's name is Sandy. She's as tall as I am. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Sandy Feltis. I'm not a marcher. I'm not a protester. This is my first time. But on February 14th, my best friends lived in Parkland and their kids, Jason and Abby, were in that school. And they saw their friends, 
and their coaches and their teachers shut down. Jason had to go to his wrestling coach's funeral before going to his wrestling match. So I'm here to tell them, Jason and Abby, and to tell the kids at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, and to tell my kids, and to tell all kids that we hear you and we're here for you. Thank you. Yeah. And that's important. They need to know that we're here with them, these kids. I mean, after all, you know, out of the mouths of babes, right? And here we are because of them. And they are scared. They just want us to get up and adult for a change, right? Don't be afraid to open your mouth. Somebody else want to speak? Anybody wants to speak, come up, okay? And we're going to get to a march, but this is more fun. Hi, I'm Melinda Kelly, and I am a teacher in this district, and I see the fear in my students' faces when they hear these stories because they're forced in. Thoughts and prayers are not working. It's time for change. Thank you. Thank you. Which I call the ash. <laughs> this is my first time. I'm marching with you guys. Alright. After Percy, he the shooting, he not just uh, on Valentine's Day, but the past, past year, he was attending hooks. Hooks. <laughs> You're right. So in prayers are not enough. Huh? It's time to. How we can get the job done. If the president won't do anything, if Congress won't do anything, then we will. It's time. I do, do anything. No more gun. Justice only. Enough is enough. Woo! <laughs> Anybody else want to say anything? Love it. Let's do it, girl. She's your leader. I just want to know if. Pastor Curtis Flora is in the audience yet? Pastor no, Curtis okay. In the building. Pastor Curtis. Hi, my name's Hedda. I'm from King of Prussia. Um, just want to share with you something that a friend of mine who is an Air Force veteran, Department of Defense attorney, pointed out. When they give you the argument that guns don't kill people, people with guns, or people kill people, I call bullshit, because if that's the case, why do we care that North Korea has nuclear weapons? Because after all, nukes don't kill people. People with nukes kill people. I call bullshit. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to say I pray for people in schools every single day. And it's sad that people want to walk inside of a school and hurt every young one. So we're going to take this time and take this walk and say that today it's got to be over. It today got no more killing our children. Today we're going to pray and walk and say no more killing our children. March for our lives today. And if we got to do it another day, then so be it. Um, my name is Zachary Burrell. Um, I'm praying for the, for the gun fight because I'm tired of be shooting, teaching cat with guns, and cop killing us after America for no apparent reason. It, is, it has to stop right now. It has to stop because we won't need no gun violence no more because we need, we need to stand up and march this here because we need no children carrying guns or drugs. I got a friend who died, got a got face blown off or drugs. But I don't want no gun violence no more. This has to stop marching right now because I'm tired of this gun violence all over. Teacher, children, gun. Everything had to stop with more for the gun, so I pray for your body.